Shelby County deputy in the hospital tonight and the suspect who authorities say tried to run him over has died. Now this happened around noon in the Robin Hood Park Apartments between Rhodes and Kimball Avenues in East Memphis. That's where Brad Broders joins us now. Brad, uh, what's happening there? Well, still a very active crime scene out here, Richard, here on Robin Hood Lane, not far from that apartment complex behind me where this situation happened. As we're learning this hour, breaking news in the last half an hour, we have learned that that suspect involved in the situation earlier today has died in the hospital from his injuries, identified as 26-year-old Antonio Jackson. Still many questions remain as the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation moves in as the lead agency, including what brought authorities to this area Area in the first place and what caused the situation to escalate the way it did. With tears, hugs and screams, emotions were running high in this section of Memphis's Sherwood Forest neighborhood, surprising longtime neighbors. I was just going down get well and I saw a bunch of police cars running every which way. Witnesses relayed those tense moments shortly after a deputy involved shooting late Monday morning at the Robin Hood Park apartments as a multi-agency gang unit worked on a case. Our detectives were working in the area of Robin Park Circle when a suspect attacked one of our deputies using his vehicle. So to prevent this deadly attack, our, de our deputy shot at the driver. We are told that deputy is expected to be okay, but late Monday afternoon, we learned that suspect, identified as 26-year-old Antonio Jackson, died from his injuries. As his procedure, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation is now the lead agency moving forward. During this critical time for everyone, we do ask that you keep our deputy in your prayers and his family, as well as the suspect and his family, too. Another neighbor says this shooting highlights the challenge challenges and unpredictability for law enforcement each day out on patrol. I wish we had a better way to deal with our actions when it comes to, you know, approaching an officer or being apprehended by officers. People get nervous. And most of these young guys, they tell me all the time, they scared to even be stopped by police. <laughs> Now again, in the last half an hour, we have learned from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation that that suspect involved in earlier, the earlier deputy involved shooting identified as 26 year old Antonio Jackson. That 26 year old has died from his injuries at the hospital. While we do know the identity of that suspect, so far the Shelby County Sheriff's Office is not releasing the name of that deputy. Reporting in East Memphis live, I'm Brad Broders.